She whipped out the clippers all of a sudden. What's going on? Girl, you are cutting two hairs. That is not going to do anything. This is getting sketchy. Where are we going with this? Hi, beautiful. Let's watch some videos together. I decided to follow along a Brad Mondo butterfly cut hair tutorial. Ooh, we got some curly hair butterfly cuts today, huh? I don't think we've made a curly hair butterfly cut video. And if we have, I don't remember. So it doesn't count. I don't remember anything I react to, to be honest with you. It's so many all the time that like, I honestly just forget. Sometimes I react to the same things twice and I don't actually figure that out until I watch the video back. And I'm like, oh yeah, I've, I've seen that before. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> been pretty popular on the web these days. Whoa, what was that preview about? That was scary. She whipped out the clippers all of a sudden. Um, wasn't expecting that. I don't think that's a part of my tutorial. So what's going on there? What's going on? But she has some beautiful, beautiful hair. I mean, it is long, it is luscious, it is thick and it is dark and it is beautiful. I love it and I cannot wait to see a butterfly cut on her because her hair would look so good with some added texture. I love it. I love this idea. I mean, I do have some layers in my hair already, but when I got it done, in December, she did not go quite as heavy with the layering as I would have liked. I see that. It's very heavy still. I personally feel like when the hair is curly or wavy, the more layers you have, the better. You get that more kind of rounded look and your layers have less weight on them. So your hair can bounce up and really enhance that curl or that wave pattern. I love this idea. And so I really enjoy the look of the butterfly cut. I think it's beautiful. And I think it would look really nice in the hair that that I have. I mean, my hair is relatively thick. It's not as thick as it used to be, but it's also like wavy curly. Relatively thick? Your hair is thick as hell. What are you talking about? So currently my hair, and I like this length. I want it to continue grow, to grow out a little bit more. I would say another couple of inches. We're gonna give this a try. I am scared, Brad. If this doesn't go well, I just want you to know that I will never live down the fact that I followed a YouTube hair cutting tutorial at home. All I will ever hear is, I told you. Well, um, listen, if you f it up, that's on you, not on me. I'm not taking responsibility. Sorry, that's on you and you only. <laughs> Tonight will be the night that I fall for you. She did wet her hair, so we're happy with that. Amazing. So, so happy she wet her hair. Because you know what? That is the step that everybody doesn't do. They're like, f wetting my hair. I'm just gonna go in and start cutting it. And you know what? That results in an uneven haircut. A very fricked up haircut. I'm trying to reduce the swearing these days, but it's not easy. It's something that I need to try harder on. That's amazing though. I'm glad she wet her hair and we're about to section it. Let's see how the sectioning goes. This whole sectioning business is not my area of expertise. Oh my gosh. Like everything is backwards. What am I doing? Why don't I even do this? Cause I don't know how to section my hair. Challenging than I thought it would be. Whoa! There's a whole lot going on here. We got a mirror in one hand, we got a comb in the other. We're trying to section while looking. Whoa! Drop the back mirror, okay? And just feel it out. You can just really take your fingers and go like this from the behind the ear to the top of the head. A nice little section. Then check your work in the in the mirror in front of you, not the mirror in back of you. This is a whole lot what we're doing right now with the mirrors and the things and the other things. And that. you're just gonna get it all messed up by doing it like this. Ooh. <sighs> the level of difficulty that I experienced just trying to part this out. Oh shiz. Oh fudge. We'll say fudge, I guess? No. Oh, Fridger. I love the amount of effort we put into sectioning and we still somehow it ended up like a zigzag. At least you tried. I finally sectioned out. It took me 45 minutes to section my hair out because I was really struggling. Like I was this close to giving up. I rewatched Brad's video. He was like, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. See, I even said it in the video. It doesn't need to be perfect. You could literally just section with your fingers. It's fine. So I have my top section. I haven't even like brushed these out appropriately yet. I guess I'll do that right now. Brad, it was so much easier parting my hair when it was dry. The point is not to make it easier. I mean, also though, it should be easier to part your hair when it's wet. But second of all, the point is not to make it easier, okay? The point, the point is to ensure that your wave pattern is consistent throughout your hair when you cut it, as well as reducing the mess it makes when you cut through your hair. If it's wet, the hair falls in chunks and not little pieces. And lastly, I don't know. I can't think of the other reason right now, but there are other reasons. I swear, I swear it's a good idea. <laughs> Just pull all the hair into one up here. This one is a bit more. This one is less. So 
that's what we're gonna do. This is looking good though. I think I said in my video to put the hair in the middle of the eyebrows. I could rewatch my own video and then tell you what I said, but I don't feel like it. So we're gonna go off memories right now. And I said to put it in the middle of your forehead, in the, in the middle of your eyebrows, okay? Okay, do you see how smooth this is? This is just perfection and I, I don't know, I tried my best with getting it at the top of my head here. I just realized we still haven't made one cut. I'm sorry, this is taking so long guys, it's not my video. She is still going with the sectioning. I mean, listen, it's the most important part. I mean, the rest of the, the rest of this haircut is pretty easy. I'm glad she's taking her time, but damn, we wanna see some cutting, come on. Do I wanna do this right now? <sighs> Be honest with yourself. Yeah, we're already this far. We're already this far, okay, okay. Also not. Oh. oh no. I appreciate that you're trying to replicate exactly what I did, but <laughs> you could have just cut above your fingers. You know, you could just take the hair and just go whoosh, one cut. Because right now you're cutting on a diagonal. You're also only cutting like one inch off, which is not gonna be enough to make a difference. I feel like I constantly say to cut a lot of hair off when you do these cuts, because otherwise they just don't make a difference at all. Like if you do not cut off a significant amount of hair, like I mean like that much or more, it's not gonna make a difference. Listen, I approve of this idea. To use clippers doing this is a way better idea because she was struggling with those scissors and all we need to do is just make a straight line. Clippers, cutting scissors, they're all fine. Okay, I'll be honest, I feel like maybe that time I took a little too much off. What I do not like is that we are pulling the hair to the side of the head. So that means that the hair on this side is going to be shorter than the hair on this side. Pull it forward. And we're doing the point cutting that I never told anybody to do, but for some reason, everybody does it. I know when I take my hair out, it's just gonna be like this white block. Like. No, it's not gonna be a block. You're gonna have beautiful layering because you over-directed the hair so far out from where it lives, you're not gonna get a block. I am very nervous though to see that the outcome of this is. Like, I feel like it could be really good or we could have just completely failed somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Like something about that clipper noise and her doing it to herself. I don't know, scary a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a little bit horrifying. I feel like I just played it a little safe on the back half one. Yes, you played it safe. I mean, listen, it's better to play safe in the beginning and then um, continue to cut more hair off. However, this this looks sloppy now. I don't know what's going on here. But uh, yeah, you gotta cut more than that or else it's not gonna make a difference. <laughs> Clip, 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 buzz, 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 oh shit, it's getting short. Wow. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't feel that, it doesn't look that bad. What was I worried about? This turned out great, thanks Brad. What do you mean it doesn't look that bad? It looks incredible. You did the damn thing. You came to do what you needed to do and you did it. You know, that was unbelievable. Wow, that was one of the best outcomes I've ever seen. Your hair looks insanely gorgeous. With your natural texture and the butterfly cut, ooh, beautiful job. Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be trying the butterfly cut. Um, I'm honestly pretty excited. I've been wanting to sort of touch up my ends and give myself some layers because I have been experiencing like some breakage around my crown area. But yeah, I'm excited. I did try this method a couple years ago and it honestly, my hair ended up pretty uneven, but I think that was just due to me just like not following <laughs> the instructions of the like cut. Ah, I'm nervous for you. Okay, so last time you did it, you did not follow the instructions. What's gonna change this time? Are we gonna actually follow them? Because people always say that stuff and then they continue to not follow the instructions. I'm, I'm just like, what's not computing here, you know? I'm gonna go in and 
put my part down the middle and then I'm gonna split my head into two sections and bring it all forward. So we're about to start cutting y'all. So far so good, sounds really nice. I am excited to see how this sectioning goes. Let's see if you struggle as much as the first girl struggled. Okay, so I've managed to pull all of my hair forward. So then this front one you want to put at the front of your head. What I am happy though about is the hair is wet. It's especially important with curly hair to make sure the hair is wet. Because when you put tension on wet curly hair, you can kind of release some of that curl pattern to get things a little bit straighter. That way your cut ends up straighter and more even all around your head. So sick, amazing, so happy your hair is wet. The section's a little scary though. The parting kind of goes into her bang region instead of like the apex of her head, like the highest point. So I don't love that. You know, there might not be enough hair. She might end up with um, a, a little bit of a different variation of a, of a butterfly cut, but that's okay. It'll still look nice. So now I have my two ponytails. Okay, I'm gonna cut off this much. I'm gonna do it now before I change my mind. Three. I know, I keep saying like, it's okay, like, you know, we can always cut off more, you can't put hair back, but like, damn, people really be cutting like one inch off. It's not gonna make a difference. Don't make me angry over here. Listen, at least the cut was nice and straight, okay? I'll give her that one. The cut was straight. Okay, now I'm gonna point cut and then just cut it up. It's actually pretty even. I'm impressed. Okay, so that's one, and then two. I'm gonna just re-wet the section. Whoa, we are re-wetting the sections. Oh my God, wow, this is like my love language here. Like just having wet hair. It doesn't take much in life for me to be happy. I'm kidding, it takes way too much to make me happy actually. I just love that we're getting rid of all those little straggly ends on our hair. There's just like a few pieces that are longer than the rest. It just like don't need to be there. And it's clear that like she doesn't have any layering going on. This is going to help her curl pattern so much and have her hair be nice and fluffy and gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait. So I'm gonna cut this much off. Girl, you are cutting two hairs. Two hairs off of your head. That is not going to do anything. So everything is cut, everything is even, to my knowledge. But now I'm gonna go in and then cut layers where that breakage is. That way I can blend it in with my new haircut. Okay, so my hair is all detangled, and now I'm just gonna make sure that it's even. Okay, pretty even. I mean, I'm sure it's even because you didn't really do anything. And you know what? It would be nice if we cut something. I mean, she's literally pulling the top layer down and it's the same length as the rest of her hair. What's going on, man? All right, so I'm just gonna follow my eyebrows. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze it. And now I'm just gonna try and section my hair to where I can make it even on both sides. Okay, so, so far I'm doing like a rectangle. Okay, so it looks like, if you guys can see, there's like this huge gap here. This is the culprit right here. Wait, what is going on? What did I miss? I definitely fast forwarded a little bit because I was getting a little bored, but that's besides the point, okay? No, that is definitely the point. Like if I didn't fast forward, I'd probably know what's going on, but I'm just confused how she ended up with a short little piece this long in the middle of her head and in the front, is about four inches longer than that piece. Hold on, how did that happen? Cause that's not right. I hope it looks good cause I'll have to cut off this much on my hair. Okay y'all, well, that's that. Oh, oh. Okay, we just ended up cutting it all off. Awesome, Um, I love that, because she did need to do something like that. However, I would have rather her have put the hair back into the butterfly cut sections and then cut all of the hair evenly, not just that little section at the top. I don't know what that sectioning really was. I don't know how it makes any sense, but we'll see. You guys think I messed up? Now she's gonna have shorter pieces that are disconnected from the rest of the layers. What? At least the breakage will blend now. I hope this came out okay. The breakage will not blend now. The breakage is gonna look worse now. It's gonna be less blended. Oh gosh. Oh shit. 
Oh no, look at her face. Oh no. Yeah, that's what happens when you just take random pieces and cut them really short. She's got some poodle ears going on. I think that's what it's supposed to look like, honestly. I'm probably just freaking out over nothing. No, it's not. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back. My hair is dry and these are the results. Honestly, I'm kind of like shocked, but everything I've checked, like it seems pretty like even all around. Yeah, like it added layers. The back is a little flat. I was expecting the back to have like a bit more volume. It's a bit more flat. And then this is the hair I cut. I think that's the only thing I'll have to like worry about because now it does sort of look weird. I think this is like a really good and like simple way to cut hair. I do think you should just be careful if you know you do try this method. Yeah, I like the results. My hair feels a lot healthier. You know, it's a nice fun haircut going into the spring. Uh, oh, I'm so annoyed. Only because like this would look so good if you just like committed to it. Just commit to the bits. She's saying on the back is flat and there's no layers. Cause you didn't cut any. God, your hair would look so good if you just cut off like four inches off each of those sections. The layers you would have, the roundness to the curls you would have. It would be so voluminous in the back. It would look amazing on you. Cut more next time. Damn, give me something. But you look pretty, you know, you look great anyways. Today I'm gonna try a butterfly cut on a wolf hairstyle because right now as you can see i have a wolf hairstyle but i want a butterfly cut yeah 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 this is a good idea yeah, yeah, yeah. Her hair is on the finer side and it's on the slightly thinner side. It's not super thin, but her hair benefits so much from some layers and it would also pick up those waves and make them less heavy and just give some all around body and movement and volume to her hair. You know what I mean? It would look sickening. Ah, I love it. And my hair is wet, as you can see. Let's comb it out first. And I know that it will be a difficult haircut because I have already a rough cut. So my hair is not uh, on the same leg in the front and in the back. I think you have the perfect canvas for this actually. I think you have very long, long layers and that needs to be cut a bit shorter. And so you have optimal hair for this cut. Let's just do it. Let's just send this shit, you know? I have to find the middle part of my hair and I have to make a line to behind my ears. All right, I find it pretty forward to the front, but I think it needs to be set. Okay, it's looking good. We got our first section done. <laughs> It looks like a beautiful first section. It's a good like half of her hair, you know, it's kind of cut in half and then this hair is pulled forward. It's perfect. I'm not gonna cut a lot of hair. What did you just say? You're not gonna cut a lot of hair? Uh, I give up today, I give up. Uh. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown if somebody cuts off like a centimeter again. I'm this close, guys. I can't handle anymore today. I try to look at straight as possible. It looks really stupid. <laughs> That's a lot. Between the eyebrows is our goal, okay? Why are we on the top of her forehead? Because guys, what's gonna happen is if we cut the hair all the way up here and we cut it really short, you're gonna end up with pieces that are like the length of your outer corner of your eye. And that wouldn't be good because that, that would give you bangs, not exactly face trimming layers, you know? We're not going for bangs today. We're going for layering. So I have two ponytails and I look like a unicorn. <laughs> All right, we got the ponytails in and it's time to cut. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay. I'm happy so far. That's not just a little centimeter of hair. That's a, that's a few inches. This is good. This is nice. I like it. Right now it looks like this is longer than in the back, but this has to go all the way to the back. I couldn't be any happier. I feel so happy right now. That fact that she just cut that much hair off just made my whole day. Thank you so much. Oh, she's choosing to not over direct the hair forward. She's choosing to cut it up here. I can't remember what I recommended in my original video, but either way it works. One of them is going to give you softer layering. The one where you pull the hair forward. The other one's going to give you harder layering when you pull it upwards. I 
I have the idea that it's now looking more like a wolf cup than it did in the beginning. Wait, I have to see it in the mirror. Okay, I don't mean to get so excited because she's not done yet. There's still like a bit of time in this video left, but like it's looking really, really good. Okay, now we're cutting bangs, I believe. Okay, all right, we're adding to the look. I like it. Hell yeah. She's doing her over direction with the bangs, cutting. It's looking all really great. The technique is spot on. It's delicious. It's great. Do you think it fits me really well? But I have to connect these layers because, I mean, you have this and you have this. What? We to connect what with what? It looks connected to me. What are you talking about? Who are we connecting with? But I think I did a pretty good job. So I see I have to connect those uh, low layers that you can see I have to connect those with a few one on top so how I'm gonna do that very simple mm, this is getting sketchy where are we going with this you just part your hair a little bit take one section like this oh but no that low it looks connected to me <laughs> where are we going let's cut Okay, I guess we cut like two pieces off. I don't know. That's supposed to make a difference or something. I don't know. Like this long layer. Where the hell did that even come from? I'm a little bit worried what you're cutting off right now might just be a part of the haircut. Because you did it all right. I don't know what we're doing with these little extra pieces. I don't know what she's cutting off. It's really spooking me out. You did the haircut right, but now we're just cutting off random pieces. Uh, I don't like that. Hi, so this is how my hair turned out. I am so happy that I did this. I like this very much. I mean, look at those curls that I have. This looks awesome. Oh my god. This really helped her hair become curlier. I mean, her hair was not, her hair was slightly wavy in the beginning of the video. Now it's full on curly. This is what layers can do for your hair. The less weight you have in the hair, the curlier your hair can be, and the better products can perform when they're in your hair. I mean, this looks divine. I love that she ended up going with this more layered haircut for herself. It looks beautiful. Oh, I love this. And she is glowing. Like, you can tell she loves what she just did and I love to see when people feel more confident after their look is complete you know after you've done something to your hair yourself that feeling of like I did that to myself and I feel more confident than ever oh it's something that I'll never get sick of I love it so much and that is why I love doing hair so much honestly guys you killed it today and like I just love butterfly cuts and wolf cuts on curly hair so so much so if you have curly hair or wavy hair whatever this is gonna look divine on you try it out and if you do it record it because I love to see it that's all today guys if you want to check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can just put the links right down below and you can shop everything on Amazon and some of it at Sally Beauty as well. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.